Hi everybody, my name is Peter Taraka. I'm head of aircraft restoration here at the Intrepid. And today we have yet another repair on our wonderful Douglas Sky Raider. We're going to be replacing the dive brake hinge fairing. So a feature unique to Sky Raider is these uh, colossal dive brakes, which permitted the pilot to uh, essentially point the airplane at the ground in a dive bombing run and not accumulate so much airspeed as to be unable to recover from that dive. There's one on each side and there's also one on the bottom of the aircraft. The dive brake has been permitted to extend further than the factory designed and the result of that is that this skin that we are replacing uh, ended up getting damaged. I have a paper template showing the original manufacturer's uh, shape skin and this hinge part just ended up tearing into the skin. It also happened down here. Voila. Here we have the fairing. And here we have a uh, paper template and the fresh aluminum that the new skin will be made from. In addition to replacing the skin, I plan to replace uh, these six uh, right angle stiffener pieces that are part of this assembly. However, these larger pieces are in great shape and it, they'd be difficult for me to form here. So I will be reusing these components, uh, but everything else will be new. Once I get this cut out, I need to put a 90 degree bend in these three sections of the panel. And to make that bend uh, in the new metal, I have to use this wonderful, wonderful machine. This is called a box and pan brake and I need to get these movable jaws set up for that particular piece, but I can show you how it works uh, with this little scrap of aluminum. Uh, what I need to do is open the jaws, put the piece in place, and bring it up to what I uh, approximate will be 90 degrees, and remove it, and I have this wonderful little uh, machinist's square that I can use to see that I have attained 90 degrees and I went a little bit beyond 90 degrees there. We're back at the bench and I've got the old damaged skin and the new assembly right here. Uh, I have several uh, newly formed uh, stiffeners to go on the new skin and the new holes will provide a nice solid foundation for the new rivets but in the old original components uh, the, the old holes are distorted and resized and won't make a firm foundation for the new rivets. So I'm drilling new holes in the old parts. I have room to do that, and that'll make, make for a better uh, finished piece. All we have left to do is rivet the finished fairing uh, back onto the Sky Raiders fuselage, and assisting me with that process is my assistant, Rosie Grogan. What Rosie is doing is drilling from the inside after she selects an area inside the fuselage where she can properly buck the tail end of the rivet. And then I will take a drill, the actual size of the rivet, and use her hole as a pilot hole to then drill the finished hole for installing the rivet. And then countersink it and we'll install the rivet and it'll be good to go. Okay. 
That's good. So there you have it. The part is complete. Uh, the corrosion proofing uh, has been applied to the inside of the component and my boss inspected it earlier today and gave me the thumbs up. So all we need to do now is uh, prime it and paint it and uh, Rosie is hard at work on side two of this project. For more behind the scenes videos go to intrepidmuseum.org.